Well, we're heading out to Ski Lack again. When I say we, I mean myself and uh, Cheek Bear and Ruger. Uh, it's about three o'clock. We just left Sterling. Got another half hour, probably till we're fishing. For 45 minutes, probably. Should be able to fish the last hour of light before it gets dark here in Alaska. And uh, we'll see what happens. Um, we had some warm weather today. It's currently 41 degrees. They were calling for rain all morning. Uh, I left work early, so uh, this is mostly just a scouting trip, if anything. I'm going to get to landing. Last weekend we were there and uh, we had dropped our houses off and walked them onto the lake and then we were fishing for four or five hours and somebody, a few people had uh, drove past us. So, and we had like 15 inches of ice, so um, definitely going to drive out there, try it out. Uh, but like I said, we got warm weather today and it called for rain, so we were, they were driving out there no problem last week, but these roads aren't plowed, so uh, if they did get a lot of rain, it could really turn it slushy, and uh, I'll have to I'll have to go somewhere else then, because where the fish are on this lake is probably three quarter of a mile from the landing, and I'm not walking that far pulling 100 pounds of gear, you know. It's a long hike through all that snow so and slush and stuff <clears throat> so I'll stay to a local lake I'll go back and uh, fish a little closer to home and just catch the small rainbows but I got a awesome new setup I got a uh, I just set up a an Akuma kind of more like a bait caster reel and I put it on a 45 inch heavy frostbite uh, ice fishing jig and wrap so I got 50 pound braided test and then I got uh, three foot uh, 12 pound leaders that are mono and so it just kind of you know you can't really see the line as well and I, I mean if I run into something I, I'm, I'm be jigging four inch uh, tubes tube jigs basically they look like orange they basically look like uh, squid you know they you no know, it's not gonna be tipped with anything I'm not gonna run a trailer hook uh, I'm just gonna run a single hook um, and I'm gonna see I'm, I mean, I'm gonna fish for big fish so hopefully we get one to bite if I start marking a, a bunch of smaller ones uh, you know like 18 inch trout I'm just gonna drop the spoon down little three-quarter yeah three-quarter rounds I don't even know the name of it but I've seen a lot of these professionals use it last week I've been watching a ton of YouTube videos so I'm pretty excited to try the new setup I've been watching a lot of videos I'm gonna approach this a little differently and hopefully uh, next time you see me I will not be stuck in the lake I will be actually fishing on the other side of it for the last hour of light uh, so see you in a bit well, we're getting a little closer. Trying to get good. I wish Chase was here right now. He could film this a lot better than me. Trying to drive and film. But it sure is beautiful. The phone doesn't do it any justice to that. But as I get closer, I've noticed that the wind's really starting to pick up. So that could be a good thing. It's 44 degrees here. It's crazy. I've never seen it that warm in Alaska. Uh, Around this area in Alaska this time of year. It's January 19th. Uh, it should not be that warm. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, with this, this wind, it looks like it's blowing like 25 out. I think this wind will keep temperatures down a little bit and the lake won't just become so flooded out. I can't enter. I think the lake is going to be fine. So, I got high hopes and we're getting closer. Here we go. So we just turned on to Ski Lock Road <clears throat> and uh, Loop or whatever it's called on the north end of it and it looks like it's even plowed already. So we had like six inches of snow last night uh, but I think it might stay too warm here. I think it just rained. Uh, yeah, it's a little a little soft but it's easy, easy traveling. It's kind of icy. I'm thinking the, uh, thinking the lake is going to be freaking prime I think it's gonna be like an inch of ice on the top you know of just easy good traction uh, the only problem I'll have is going back up and out the landing but 
Uh, I think we can probably get a good running start at it. We'll find out. We'll be there in about five minutes here. It's looking good. I'm excited. I'm excited. One Laker to make it work. To make it worth it. This is just a scouting trip for tomorrow, really. But if I could land a fish tonight, my first ever Laker through the ice, that would make tomorrow a lot more fun because the pressure would be off. So. There's nothing better than that first one, man. Nothing better. I gotta flip the camera though. This is so beautiful. This road is so cool. Going up to this pretty much glacier lake. Let's see if I can. There's Ski Lock Lake down there. Very beautiful with that sun. But this phone doesn't do it any justice. Probably can't even hear my audio. Well, we made it out here. Nothing to really worry about it too much. I think we got plenty of ice. That guy back there said he had 20 inches. I'm just following some old tracks here. Hopefully we don't get stuck. I think we're fine. It looks like we got plenty of plenty of good good snow here to drive across. I'll probably get out here, punch a hole, see what my Alright, so we're driving on the lake right now. We're about halfway out. To the spot I want to be finally getting around the corner uh, I just stopped right here at this corner through these narrows uh, to check the ice depth it was still about 16 inches uh, yeah I'm just gonna keep trying to drive right in the middle I don't want to you know you don't want to drive by all these high rock cliffs you know that those things heat up in the Sun like we had today and it's 45 degrees out here there's like two inches of just water on the ice I mean, I'm not even close to getting stuck, but it is just wet out here. I don't think I'm going to even set up my house in this tomorrow. I don't think it would. I'll just fish from the truck all day. If it's like this tomorrow, I'll have to. There's another truck out here, though, so that's good. That's good to see, you know, somewhere, somewhere to go wrong today. I'm not the only vehicle out here. So there is one other guy I'm seeing as I'm turning the corner. I think I need to go a lot farther than he is, but... Yeah, it's good to see. We might get one tonight yet. Yeah, it's, it's four o'clock. We got an hour of light left, give or take. Uh, like I said, this is a big scouting trip for me for tomorrow. So I can come out here all day tomorrow and fish hard. I think I left at about three. So it's only about an hour from my doorstep to get here, uh, which is not a bad drive at all. Not for an opportunity to, you know, catch something that I've never done for a big lake trout through the through the ice. I think there's probably some big ones in here. I've caught I've caught them when I used to have my boat and I trolled it one time and I was fishing all the way on this end. It's a little shallower on this end, a little more flatter. I think we were fishing last week. I think we were fishing too stiff, uh, stiff of like drop offs. And we just weren't marking very much bait fish. Finally, we got deeper. We started to mark bait fish. We were sitting at about 55 feet of water, but that was the deepest I ever got all day. So after watching a few videos, I'm gonna try to get a little deeper and I'm gonna sit and kind of like on the edge of a flat right before it drops off and uh, find about 65 feet of water. And that's where I'm just gonna jig all night. I'm gonna jig a big old tube. Uh, and then if I start marking some small ones, I'll drop a spinner down there, but I'm getting close to where I want to be. I got to pull up my map on my phone here and uh, so and find my spot. So I will talk to you guys shortly. <laughs> oh, thanks to my scaredy cat dog. Knocked the camera over. It's really blowing out here, I'll tell you what. Plenty of ice, so I'm safe, Grandma. I'm gonna check how deep I am here. There's just nowhere to fucking put this. All right. Are you knocking snow into my hole for me? Appreciate you. You wanna come in here? Are you cold? Not even the dogs wanna be out here.
four times 15, so that's 60 feet. A little over 60 feet. Boom. I'm perfect. This is right where I wanted to be. A little over 60 feet. I'm right where I wanted to be, right where I want to try. So we put the, tr and the wind's ripping 30 mile an hour. I wouldn't even want to fish in the tent right now. I parked the truck so it's taking up all the wind. Drilled 10 inch hole here. Got the Vexlar down. Uh, now we're going to jig for a little bit. Turn some tunes on. Huh? Maybe eat some food. Get some. Do you like food, you guys? Oh, yeah. I got some mountains back there. Look at that. Not really though. First attempt at a lake shot through the ice today. <laughs> we were out here last weekend. I did my homework though, I watched some videos. Uh, and I got a brand new setup. I'm excited to try this bad boy here. I had a, I had a free fall from 13 and it was alright. Well, it didn't work very good in the cold. I'm in about 62 feet of water here. I'll be able to tell too, because I got a line counter on this thing. So here, I'll take a guess where it gets down there, what I got. 15 times 4 would be 60, and then you got 2 times 4, which is 6, so 66. I was shooting for 65 feet of water. I First hole I drilled couldn't be much, much closer. That's awesome. This tube falls a lot slower than I thought it would. I think I only have a 3 quarter ounce jig in there, and it needs to be at least over one. 66. Ooh, line counter works good. Line counter works good. So, first error I've noticed is I'm just a little, this pole is 48 inches and I'm just a little too close to my hole. I'm gonna show you my setup here. But, it's nice having the truck here. All I gotta do is back it up, pull it forward, another foot and a half that way, you know. Get that sensitivity dialed in here. Watching a lot of these Laker videos, I'm really surprised uh, how many fish this guy Clayton catches off the bottom. So I'm gonna be trying that a lot more today. Just hanging out down there. Turn it up, that big old plug. And uh, hopefully I get a chance to just bury these hooks in this 65 feet of water into one of these things. I mean, I'm gonna have to bury it too. That drag is set pretty tight. But there's a lot of, that's a long way down. what I'm used to anyway in Minnesota, I'll tell you what. Hopefully you can pick up some of this audio. I, it might be too windy, I'm not sure. But that wind is just ripping right up and over me. I mean, the water on the lake, I don't know if you can see it, the water on top of the ice actually has ripples. Not so much water is out here on top of this thing. 45 degrees, but it's fucking cold with that wind. <laughs> if it weren't for the wind though, right? <laughs> uh, the funniest person I know. 
Ooh, I think we just had a mark. Yep, we did. We got a mark coming up. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll hang out here. Come here. Oh, here he comes. He's coming. He's chasing, he's chasing, he's chasing, he's chasing. Come on. I'm just gonna hold it still. I'm up halfway up the water column here. It's kind of a, it's a green mark, so I don't think it's that big. But when he gets on me, it turns us red, so I don't know. Have to switch to that spoon. I'm gonna need to get some heavier weights too on the way home tomorrow. I'm just not getting down there very fast. That's pretty shitty out here. Not even the dogs want to run around here. That's saying something. How can I make a rod holder out of the side of my door here? Turn the heat up, get some music on. Last drop of the night. Hog. Absolute hog. Fuck, I can't get a good lighting on it. Maybe I turn my tailgate. set this up right here. There we go. I can't even get in the camera. Oh, I told everybody these were in here. I told everybody that is a hog. Look at the belly. Look at the belly on this thing. It's fat. So fat, he's gonna go back down now. There he goes, no problem. 10 inch hole, he barely fit in it. <laughs> there we go. It is six o'clock, right as I was, I told my dad, I was on the phone with my dad. I was like, last drop, hit the bottom, tapped it, and started bringing it up, bringing it up, mid water column, big red mark, and hammer city. I fought that fish for uh, probably about 10 minutes, took a lot of big runs, and had to really, really be nice and easy with them uh, on the edge of the hole. 
took a little bit to get his head up, but I'm using some big gear. I got, I hit this tube jig, three quarter ounce tube jig, uh, Kodiak Customs, I think they're called. I've seen a guy in Manitoba using stuff like this and Kodiak Custom makes this, I think they're out of Wasilla. And uh, boom, I glowed that up, sent it down. And I just, that's my first lake shot through the ice. My first one might be my biggest one ever. Well, it's definitely the biggest one I've ever caught, but it, it might be the biggest one I ever catch in my life. That was, I think I'm gonna try to get a replica of that that fish. That was a, that was a beautiful fish. It went down phew, later, see it gone. Had, had a lot of, she had a lot of fight left in her. Uh, fishing right out of my truck. <laughs> yeah, baby, yeah. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> oh, nobody's gonna believe it. I'm so glad I got the videotape. But, oh, man. I have the GoPro on tomorrow. Oh, it's dark out here. And we're catching 30 pound fucking lake trout. Let's go. So, I am uh, just hit the landing here. And as you can see, there was a family of lynx here. There was four of them. This is the model. Let's see if we can get a good video of this. Oh, I'm stuck on the slope now, but. Yeah, mama lynx. She had three little ones with her. Pretty cool. Well, just got back to the landing. Uh, it took me about 30 minutes to get off the lake. Um, going about 10 miles an hour across it. No problem. There's no problems at all. Uh, as soon as I got to the landing, a family of four lynx were uh, right there. A mama and three little ones, it looked like. I got a little bit of a video of her, a little bit of a picture of her, but it's pretty hard. They were kind of running down the road, and uh, it's dark out. It got dark. It, it, I thought it was going to be, it didn't get dark till 6. That's when I was like, okay. And then it was dark, dark. But six o'clock that's right when i caught that big one <laughs> that was totally worth it the last drop i was on the phone with my dad he'll tell the story just like i tell it on the phone with my dad i told him last drop last drop i'm gonna tap the bottom a few times and i'm gonna slowly work it up through the water calm in 65 feet of water no sooner i say that the phone hangs up we we have kind of sketchy service out here off and on phone hangs up and also i mark a huge red mark fly up from the bottom and just double me over and I buried him reeled, reeled down buried him again just take and drag and I knew I hooked him good and he just start just took off screaming bottom for about 10 minutes I called my dad up on the phone and I finally got his head through the hole and I finally got him up into the top of the hole and his belly was too big and after my 10 inch hole I couldn't believe it but finally got him up <clears throat> through the hole and uh, try to take a little bit a couple pictures little short video I'm gonna to try to crop the picture from the video and uh, yeah then I got him back in the water and she kicked like she was kicking like son of a gun she was still fighting hard she wasn't bleeding at all it was a good release um, I didn't want to I didn't want to get in the bed, bed of my truck to grab my my tape measure uh, I just wanted to get the fish released again and and good to go that was my first one I have a lot of respect for that. That was really cool. But I put my dips, my little dipstick up to it, and it was two of those. Just a little bit less than two of those. So I'll measure that out. Now, they don't know how long it is, but it wasn't about how long that fish was. It had so much girth. And I really hope the pictures can show how much girth that fish had. I wish I would have had a soft tape measure. I do actually have one back at home. I'm going to throw it in my, my gear for tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, I think 20, 20 plus pound fish for sure. Um, I'm gonna measure it and then I'll put it in the calculations and see what it come out. I don't really care. It was huge, biggest one I've ever caught, um, and that was just a scouting trip for me. As you saw, you know, I took the videos on the way here. Um, that was just a little scouting trip. I was out there fishing for two hours um, and caught the biggest one of my life. And I caught it through the ice. First one I ever caught through the ice. So I am uh, nothing but smiles right now. Going out there all day tomorrow. And uh, I'm gonna get up nice and early, right as the sun's coming up, right at that first light, right, and see if we can, we can do it again. We can catch some, put some more big ones up. Uh, maybe get some better video and stuff for you guys. Uh, that's a hell of an experience. About an hour away from my house, 
probably about 45 minute drive but with in, in the light I got across the lake pretty good I think 20 minutes 25 minutes but uh, on the way back it took me a little over 30 minutes uh, to get back uh, because <clears throat> I was just kept it slow and I was just watching for rocks you don't want to be driving close to them rocks the water heats up I was noticing that there's like six inches less of ice around closer to them rocks than there are in the middle of the lake I was stopping and drilling holes and just being safe because I was the only one out there uh, there was uh, one other guy but he, he must have left early because I didn't see him on the way back but he was about halfway as far as I went so even though no sir hardly any service and stuff you just got to be careful I drilled a hole in the middle right in the narrowest spot where I thought I'd have the le uh, least amount of ice throughout my where I was to where I was going I drilled there and I still had over 20 inches so I just kept trucking all the way to my spot I knew the ice would be good all the way to my spot then if it was that good there if, as long as I stayed in the middle you know I'll be fine I drove right up to that hole or I thought was 65 feet drilled it and sure enough it was I put my truck into the spot where the wind wasn't hit me too hard the wind was blowing like 40 it's blowing about 45 miles an hour right now it's blowing me all over this little road I'm going 16 miles an hour to get out of here but uh, hopefully it's not too bad on the highway uh, but yeah just being careful now I'm slipping and sliding everywhere I don't got very good tires there's tree branches all over the road and stuff I wish I could videotape this a little better but yeah there's big tree branches down it's not it was not a good day to be out there for sure but I was fishing from the comfort of my uh, my truck my Silverado and it was totally worth it so we'll be nice and easy on this little ski lack loop road out <clears throat> and uh, once we hit the highway hopefully we'll take a nice and easy get home safe and come back out and try to get tomorrow that was awesome later